fun and quick recipe for you guys today. Plantain Rice Krispie Treats are coming up. We're going to start off by breaking up the plantain chips. Now, plantain chips you can find at pretty much any supermarket. Once you're done crushing them, divide them in half. In a small container with honey, go ahead and add that first half of the plantain chips that you just crushed. Mix well. Next step is to melt our butter. This should take about 30 seconds at the most. Next up, we have our marshmallows. We're going to do it in one minute intervals. Now you see the marshmallows are ready. We're gonna go ahead and give them a little stir. Add our honey and plantain mixture. Now we're gonna stir until it's very well mixed, adding the butter next. Now let's give it another good stir. It has to melt in 100% together. Now let's add our Rice Krispies and very carefully, we're gonna mix it together. Now you have to be careful because the Rice Krispies can actually go and fly right out of your container and you don't wanna do that. You just wanna go ahead real slow, mix it well, have a lot of patience. It's gonna look a little strange, but don't worry. This is looking quite good right now. And just any extra marshmallow that you have, just keep pushing it in and just let it get, you know, really, really, really combined. And I would say about a minute of a good stir is just about right. I say this is just about the right consistency. And now we're going to move on and we're going to go ahead and place this in a parchment paper lined baking dish. Very simple. You're going to just make sure everything's kind of spread out and you're going to go ahead and add the rice crispy that you just mix together onto this pan. Now that we have it all in this baking dish, we're gonna go ahead and try to flatten it out as much as you can. Remember, this is not going to be perfect because of the consistency of the Rice Krispies, but don't worry, you can get another utensil from the kitchen to help you, like I have here another spatula, just to kind of help me get it evened out. So once you feel like it's evened out enough, not totally flat, you're good to go for the next step. Now that I feel that this is good, flattened as much as I can, I'm gonna go ahead and add that second half of the plantain chips over my Rice Krispie mixture. Under the broiler, it goes on high for three minutes. There you go, look at that beauty. It's gonna sit for 10 minutes before we go ahead and cut it up. They're cooled down now, so we're going to go ahead and remove that parchment paper off the back. Now take your time. You're gonna to have to do this very, very gently so that you don't break up the Rice Krispies. As you can tell, this is super, super tender still. Now we're gonna cut them up in squares. Now this one rendered me about 12 pieces. Now look at that. Ugh, that gooiness from the marshmallow is coming apart. I adore it. And I'm gonna tell you one thing, these are not gonna last long, so make sure that you bake a nice amount. Ugh, oh, look at that last piece. Oh, I love it. Here, I am actually going to be plating them and leaving them out for my kids and my husband to enjoy. My poor husband. He does not want to see a ton of treats around because, well, he's trying to eat healthy. But what kind of wife would I be if I don't make something that's totally, totally tempting? Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. 